Good morning on this wonderful Tuesday as we take a moment to look at a scripture verse from the book of Mark chapter 8 verse 34. A calling that Jesus gives to his followers and a calling that he gives to us today. Jesus called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. This week, I worked on a school project with my daughter in which she was instructed for her theology class to be able to construct a cross that really told the story of the relationship that she has with Jesus and how she portrays the crucifixion. It was really unique to be able to watch her first put together a drawing and some different ideas on paper, and then to be able to construct this actual cross of what it means for her that Jesus died for her sins. And that's something I think all of us can look at as we look forward this week and to approaching uh, the time in which we will celebrate Holy Week and Jesus' crucifixion and, of course, his resurrection and be able to remember exactly what that means for us in our own lives. Because Jesus gives the crowd and his disciples some very unique words today. He says that you must deny yourselves and then come and follow me. All of us should probably ask in our lives today, you know, what are those things that I need to be able to deny in order to better follow Jesus? And this concept of taking up our cross, who would do this voluntarily? It doesn't sound like a fun thing. Well, the quick and fast answer to that is Jesus does that. He does it for each of us. And he doesn't do it because he thinks it's going to be fun or to bring himself glory. In fact, we see Jesus in some of the final moments of his life get down on his knees and pray to his father, asking him if there is any other way to be able to circumvent this walk to Golgotha, this pain and uh, path to the cross. If this would happen, please let it happen, Father. However, Jesus says those very important words in his prayer, let not my will be done, but your will. Do we pray like that in our lives, denying ourselves and always going to the Father's will? Sometimes we think that we know what the Father's will is, when in reality it's probably something very different than what we would assume. During this time of Lent and leading up to Holy Week, I would encourage you to be able to do the same thing that my daughter and I did. Maybe not constructing a complete cross, but maybe taking some time just to be able to pencil out a quick little drawing of what the cross means to you. Maybe some different words of things that you could deny in your life to better be connected with Christ. And remember, in all of these things, do not think that these are elements that we are giving up or doing in order to be able to show Jesus how good we are but to be able to remember and to be able to live up to the sacrifice that he has given for us and the calling that he has for his disciples, for the crowds, and for you and me. Let's deny those things, take up our cross, and follow him every day. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity uh, you give us every year, and in fact, every day, to be able to remember the holy sacrifice that you have paid on our behalf. Continue to be able to draw us closer and closer to you as we are able by your spirit to deny things of this world and to be able to live by your calling and that great work of art that you have given to us of your only son upon a cross. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, blessings upon your day.